Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly update video where I show everything that got added to the collection for the week and uh, we take a look at some stuff from afar and then we take a look at some stuff close up. Alright, so let's get right into it. There, I did not really get too much quantity this week so this should be, should be a shorter than 50 minute video that my last two were about almost an hour long so this one's gonna be probably a short one this week I know I say that all the time and then it never is but I guess I should stop talking and let's get to it all right so in the store found this guy I collect the Datsun 240z casting so when they put an exclusive in a nine pack I had to actually pick up a nine pack so I picked up this nine pack right here it's got the uh, exclusive dots in, in there. We will go ahead and open it up and just take a look at all uh, nine of the vehicles um, in the second segment of the video. So there's some decent ones in there. So pretty cool. We'll take a look at those. Um, I picked up the Matchbox Ford truck set hit. And there was really only one that I wanted because, interestingly enough, the... There's a Ford F-150 SVT Raptor in there in golf livery. And um, that, I believe, was already out in a uh, single pack. And then there was that Ford F-100 pickup in Moon Eyes livery that was already been out in uh, a five pack that I already had. So um, this was the only one I really wanted to grab. This is the uh, Ford F-150 Lightning. And that is pretty cool. So I had to grab that one. And we'll open that, of course, in the second segment. So that's the... Oh, I got another Matchbox car here, yeah. I got some mail. Or, oh, one other thing in store here. This right here. Racing Champions Mint. Uh, picked up this. It's Pacer. Uh, this looks pretty cool. The casting looks quite large. I think it's... Yeah, it's Johnny Lightning stamped on the base of this casting. Um, but anyway, it looks really, really nice. So I was excited to kind of check this one out. Uh, so we will go ahead and open up that one in the second segment. So I did pick up that and then actually I guess before I get into the, the small box of mail I got we'll uh, take a look at these. I actually scored a couple chases Yeah um, I believe my first chases of the year I'm pretty sure it is uh, just uh, This last week and I got two items of interest uh, one is this Green Machine 2018 Chevy Silverado 1500 from Greenlight All Terrain Series 7. So there's that one. Um, I probably will, I don't know, trade this maybe. I'm definitely, I don't think I'm going to open it because I'm not really, and I've mentioned this in other videos. I like green machines when they're like green body green machines, but having just the wheels be green and well this one's get gets the wheels and it gets that like roll bar thing or whatever in the back uh which is also green which is kind of cool but i'm not really I'm not really into collecting chases for the sake that they are chases um, i like chase cars when the it enhances the look of the car it looks different or it's like a color variation uh then i'm totally in it otherwise i'm not really into it so this one i'm not really into uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but it is a green machine. I'm just going to try to see if I can peek at the number here on the bottom. So I couldn't leave it behind. It is a low number. It looks like it's number 18. It's kind of hard to tell through there. But there's that. And then I picked up this 18 greenie right here. This thing is pretty cool. Now... Uh, it looks really awesome. I, I just don't collect 124 scale. So, <clears throat> and I really don't want to start. So, I think I'm going to end up trading this. I don't know. But the cool thing about these, uh, the way that these are boxed, they're actually not sealed at all. So, I can go ahead and take this out of the package and show you guys this casting uh, close up show you this green machine close up so we will take a look at this in the second segment of the video i'll carefully pull it from the package and then uh we will take a, a quick look see around it uh just to check it out it is really really awesome looking um would love the 164 scale version of it 
in a green machine like this. Uh, but this one, <clears throat> it's 124 scale. I don't collect 124 scale, so it, it really has no business being in my collection. So we'll probably get rid of it. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then I got some mail. Um, this is from, there's a Facebook group, SK's Diecast, I think is what it is. And he just throws up random stuff and does like, you know, little auctions here and there and I bid on a couple of things and I ended up uh, winning them uh, for, for really reasonable or really really cheap actually uh, I picked up this Porsche 911 GT1 this matchbox kind of interesting little casting the packaging's all dusty and stuff but that doesn't matter to me because I'm going to be opening it up obviously so we'll pop that open in the second half uh, this Johnny Lightning 1972 Pontiac Firebird um, this is just Johnny Lightning R1 limited edition. This is an RC2 era. So it's in the Pony Power series. And you can't really see the car because the packaging bit has like shifted in there. So I got this super cheap. So I'm really glad about that. We'll go ahead and I'll open that up so we can take a look at that in the second segment. I uh, thought about saving it for a 10 car Tuesday, but I want to open it and we'll see what it. Well, we need content for the second half, basically, so we are going to open that. Um, and then I got a couple of loose cars. <clears throat> this is a Hot Wheels Classic Series GTO in red. It looks very nice. We'll take a peek at that close up, second segment. And then this Johnny Lightning uh, GTO, which is uh, one I didn't have, and this is in this weird kind of a... Uh, I don't know how to describe this color. It's like brown-ish. I don't know. Brownish. So there's that one. And we'll take a look at that. Of course, close up in the second segment. And then the best one I found was this one here. This is a green light Mercury Marauder. And this is from the Black Bandit series. Uh, this vehicle actually... <clears throat> The tires are kind of messed up on it a little bit, but uh, this vehicle is actually a really tough one to get. And when when you do find these on eBay, um, they are really expensive. So I got this thing for four dollars, and it's not. Uh, I mean, it's pretty much mint, I guess. If it's got any of these flaws that are on here, I guess definitely could be just green light being green light. But uh, it was really really dusty in the picture and I think that might be why it would deter people from bidding on it which is fine because I'm just glad to have an example of it um, I did not have uh, this car well I've got the Crown Vic which is basically the same tooling right but I did not have a Mercury Marauder and when these come up they're they're expensive so I was glad to add it to the collection I'm just kind of opening the hood here but yeah we'll take a look at this black bandit in the segment here coming up in the video all right so that is it like i said i didn't really haul it in this week which is okay because i've been <clears throat> hauling it in quite a bit lately and those 50 minute videos i can understand if you guys don't have the time to watch those because i'm busy too so i totally understand um this will be a short one i think right all right so let's go ahead and flip it around and let's take a look especially i'm excited to take a look at that 18 green machine and we'll just look at this other stuff so yeah let's do it okay so let's take a look at this mercury marauder first uh, from green light black bandit um i don't recall now what black bandit series it's from but it is from one of the ones that are like limited they actually had a limited number on them i believe um this one is copyright date it says 2008 on the on the base of this car, so I believe that's when this tooling was first made. But uh, anyway, these are tough to find. It's tough to find any example of the Mercury Marauder. I think they've only released like two legit variations of it. I think, um, and this one, like I said, it isn't perfect, but for the four dollar price that I paid for it, it is spectacular. So, and it's still a little dirty. I could still clean it up a little bit more. Um, there's a couple little scratches on the windshield. It's not, it's just not perfect. But that is okay. Um, these cars can be very expensive on eBay. Um, some older green light stuff, man, just 
goes for a pretty penny on eBay. They're tough to get, and uh, they don't come up too often. When they do, people are asking an arm and a leg for them. But again, if you're patient, um, you can always get good deals on stuff if you're always kind of looking out for good deals. So was happy to add this to the to the green light collection it's a pretty cool casting so it's got um tampoed headlights in front grill um and then it's got like painted tail lights <clears throat> with this like reflective paint which is kind of cool um so it looks pretty good it rolls a little wonky as a lot of green lights do but it's got these thick tires on here say wide tires on here and it looks it looks pretty good <clears throat> so that's that one it pretty awesome again glad to have it all right this one real quick this is just a hot wheels classic series gto you guys know i do collect gtos um <clears throat> i tend to grab anyone that i don't have so definitely had to pick this one up i don't even remember how much i paid for it, it was like a dollar two dollars or something like that so not much and I like the classic series that came out when, you know, each casting came out in a ton of different colors. And they do look cool when they're when they're put up next to each other. So it's kind of got a Spectre Flame paint uh, look to it. Um, not quite Spectre Flame, but looks pretty awesome. <clears throat> All right, so there's that. And then this GTO from Johnny Lightning is a cool casting. I collect these. Any variation I don't have. And this was one in particular I did not have. So, saw this. I don't know how much this was either, but... And it's a pretty nice one. It's a definitely an oddball color. This color is just... Leaves a little to be desired, I suppose, but I'm guessing it was a real optional color for this vehicle. I would never buy a car this color. But still, you know, pretty cool nonetheless. So, glad to have it. Glad to add it to the collection. And... My green light, or my green light, my Johnny Lightning collection is absolutely massive. I just wasn't keeping track of how many I had until I started putting them on the wall. And I'm like, whoa, I actually have a ton of Johnny Lightning, a ton of it. So, but that's cool. I love Johnny Lightning. Johnny Lightning is still cool. Yeah, I know they're not like, you know, 100% to 164 scale. They actually run a bit small in most cases. Um, but the castings are cool. The brand is kind of quirky. I, I like the different things that they do that not really any other die cast manufacturer really does and they do some oddball toolings that and oddball cars that not a lot of uh, die cast manufacturers do so um, I think it's they're pretty awesome they, they definitely like hold their own place in the die cast world so I, really, I like them a lot <clears throat> alright then let's go let's take a look at let's stick with Johnny Lightning for a second Let's take a look at this Trans Am. Yeah, I tried to open it. It flipped all around in the package. It's from <clears throat> Pony Power. Sorry about the constant clearing of the throat here. I got a frog in my throat. All right, Pony Power 72 Pontiac Firebird. There it is. You can read that if you'd like to. Vehicle spec sheet. All right, and then here is the car. It's a nice one. It's like uh, cream colored. It's not really quite white. And uh, the wheels are nice. I like these wheels and tires from Johnny Lightning. Um, metal base, metal body. Open up the hood. There's a take take a peek at the motor in there if you can see it. Looks all right. Definitely dig this casting from Johnny Lightning, and this is one of the one another casting that I'm trying to get like every variation of it. I don't really care about the white lightning so much, but uh, I would like to get an example of every variation of regular release of this tooling and actually any of the Firebird toolings I kind of go after, except for like that really like old one that looks all. Uh, weird, which um, I don't have an example of it in front of me to show you, but I think it's a 69 Firebird. There's one of those toolings that's like older Johnny Lightning that I just don't really care for, but um, this one is really nice. It's an awesome one, and I've got quite a few variations of it, but I still need quite a few of them. 
This casting's got, looks like it's got like a little bit of a lean to it. It's a little lower on this side than it is on that side. At least that's the way it appears to me right now. Which, I don't know why that base issue happens in some diecast manufacturers. I talked about it a little bit in last uh, week's episode in regards to green light having major issues with it. <clears throat> but you do see it in other brands as well. So, there's that. Firebird, pretty awesome. And then let's go ahead and take a look at this. Racing Champions 1977 AMC Pacer from Racing Champions uh, Mint 2018 Release 2. Uh, and this is version B. I think version A was red, I want to say. I don't have it. Uh, Racing Champions is actually quite tough to get in my area. There's only one store that carries it. Walmart around me does not carry it any longer. They used to. And then, of course, we don't have Toys R Us anymore, and I don't even think you see them at Hobby Lobby either. So, right now, for me, it's Meyer is the only place to get it. This thing's cool, man. It's really cool. Is that hood open? I can't tell. It looks almost like it would. I don't think it does. But the lines in there, they put. It's like it's a, the hood's like a separate piece, even though it doesn't open. This is a really kind of neat tooling. Let's look at the base. I love the wheels and tires on it. I like how it's kind of a two-tone blue too, so it's like a lighter blue and then a darker blue. And the detail on it's great. I love what round two has done with, with the racing champions. Um, and I don't know, okay, the, I'm still confused on this, why this would say Johnny Lightning on the base. Was it originally a Johnny Lightning tooling? Did they just both use the tooling? Racing, did both brands use the tooling at one time? I don't really know. Or did it come out as a racing champions first, and then was it released in Johnny Lightning, and now it's back in racing champions? I don't know. I can't tell you. But... This tooling is really good, and I love the detail that Round 2 has put into a lot of these toolings that otherwise didn't look so fantastic uh, coming out when they did come out. There's a lot, like especially if you look at Racing Champions, um, and you look at, like I don't know what, what era it would be from, but somewhat older Racing Champions, if you take a look at that stuff and then compare it to like the Round 2 versions of those castings, like where they're all done up nice, right? um, they're quite different. And that's the brand where it's really noticeable, the Racing Champions brand, where it's really noticeable that Round 2 put an extra effort into those um, cars to make them look a lot better than when they originally came out. So that's my opinion anyways. But there it is. It looks really awesome. I'm glad to add this to my pretty limited Racing Champions collection, but this thing is pretty cool. And I'm just confused as to whether or not, I mean, later on I'm going to think this is a Johnny Lightning because it's got Johnny Lightning stamped into the base. But of course it was released under the Racing Champions brand. That's still confusing to me, but <clears throat> pretty cool. Alright, so next up, let's take a look at this Matchbox 911 GT 1. Uh, this Porsche. I didn't have an example of this Matchbox casting in my Porsche repertoire, so I had to pick that up. It's kind of a basic one. Very simple. It's white. Um, metal body. Plastic base. I would need to get a Kyosho of this uh, car. I know Kyosho makes one. At least I'm pretty sure they do. So I definitely need a Kyosho of this car. But the Matchbox will have to do for now. Uh, real basic on this one. We do get headlight detail. A uh, little 911 GT1 on the side. Other than that, it's just a plain old white metal body plastic base. No detail on the back. But it does look does look okay. So there's that one. And then we got this guy right here. The Ford F-150 Lightning. Matchbox from the Ford series. that one up and yeah that's a nice casting that looks good so this is like the new uh lightning right like or in the new it doesn't have a year on it what's the copyright date of this tooling is this a new tooling i don't think it is 2004 pretty cool there i like it pretty awesome red it's got a ton of cover 
and uh, I think that's a nice Matchbox casting. I didn't have an example of this casting, so and obviously it's been up for a while. The copyright date is 2004, so I didn't have an example of it, so it's really cool to get it. Matchbox, I, I'm still digging what Matchbox is doing. This one does not have front-end detail, which is a shame on this vehicle because it would add a lot. Um, doesn't have the rear detail either, but it does have this the side tamp. I wish they would have added one more surface at least and at least done up the front. Um, that would make a lot of difference. The back, I mean, yeah, it's taillights on a red car, so it wasn't really make that big of a difference, but that front would make such a huge difference, I think. All right, so there's that one. And next, let's go ahead and take a peek at this nine pack. And uh, let's take a look at all these cars that are in here. We'll go through this really quick. And then after that, we'll take a look at those green machines, and then we're done here. But go ahead and open this nine pack. Slide it out. All right, so let's just kind of take them out, I guess, one by one here. Um, let's see here. Here is that guy right there, 57 Chevy. Uh, and I don't know, and forgive me, because I don't know which ones of these, if there is going to be any, like, uh, multi-pack exclusives in here. I don't know if this is going to be in the main line or if it is in the main line or not. But here is a 57 Chevy. Um, so there is that one. Kind of neat. Flames, yellow flames, yellow windshield, gold wheels, black metal body, chrome plastic base. Looks all right. This one is the uh, 2008 Ford Focus in some wild deco. Not a fan of it. Uh, I guess the, the tooling itself is, I guess, okay. I just don't like all this crazy graphic all over it. And it's yellow, and it just kind of looks blah to me. Uh, so that one will probably just give to my son. And then this one here, this is an Aston Martin. This casting, I don't know, is awful. In my opinion, um, I don't like it. It's a bad-looking Aston Martin. It's got that upturned chin for track readiness, and it's just altogether a weird proportion and just a really odd-looking casting. So I won't be keeping that one. Um, this one I'll keep. Skyline. Oh, which version is going? This is the R32. Yeah, R32. Uh, we got some. Male aligned um, tail light detail, which is unfortunate. Other than that, looks pretty good in this white color. I don't know. I'm trying to think of if this, what case code this was in, or if it, what it's in. I'm pretty sure this is a mainline release this year, so I can always find another one with a uh, good-looking uh, rear tampo action to make up for this one. It's all right though. Nice and basic little car. And then, uh, let's see here. This one, I think, is a multi-pack exclusive. And you can have to correct me if I'm wrong. But this one right here, this Alfa Romeo, I think, 4C, um, 8C. Alfa Romeo 8C Competition. Uh, it's an all right looking tooling. It does look a little out of proportion. But we do get taillights. It's got that sweet little Alfa Romeo logo which looks pretty sweet. This is in black. I think this one is a multi-pack only release. Pretty sure that it is. I don't think this is actually in the main line. Someone will correct me if I am wrong, but uh, there's that. I'll keep that one. Um, and then this one here, this was a main line release already. I do already have it. I think mine was kind of messed up though, so this will probably replace it. But I like my uh, my Datsun Nissan Z cars, and this one is the Fair Lady Z. It's the one that came out in 2016, I believe. In the main line was the original release of this tooling, and yeah, it looks pretty good. But it's yellow and black, and I don't know. It, I mean, it looks okay. <clears throat> Not a huge fan of that graphic. And then we get this one here, Lancia. This is a Lancia, right? Yep, Stratus. So this one's pretty cool. I like this little car. The little car is neat. Um, I would like to get a Kyosho of this car. I think they make it. And 
I mean, it looks okay. The graphics, again, aren't the greatest, but it's a little $1 toy car, and I think it's pretty nice nonetheless. So, that one's pretty cool. I'll keep that one. I think that one might be a multi-pack exclusive as well. That's what they always do in these nine packs. There's always They always put a couple of multi-pack exclusives. This one was released in the main line. There's Nova in golf livery. Little misaligned tampo action on that side. This side looks good. I guess I'll still have to find another one of these if I want a nice looking one because this is two now that I have with kind of messed up tampos on it. But again, these are $1 cars. You know, I guess you really can't expect them to be perfect. There it is. And then lastly, the reason why I got the pack had to get it for this car right here this Datsun 240Z and of course Tampa's look pretty decent on this side and on this side there's some issues which is really unfortunate when you buy a nine pack for the one vehicle so although I'm gonna kind of get into nine pack collecting when I buy cars instead of buying singles because I'm a loose collector anyway right so if I can get a bunch of cool cars at a clip and just get the nine pack and get the exclusive, I might as well just do it because I'm going to open my cars anyway, so I don't need to really buy packaged cars. But this Tampa issue kind of kind of stinks. Uh, if I see another nine pack with one of these in it, maybe I will just pick it up, take a chance, and see if I get a good one. Um, that's the unfortunate thing. You can only see one side of the car in the package. So what are you going to do? All right. But whatever, it's a dollar car, and I just, you know, it's nice to have an example of every one of these that I can get. I'm missing some of the expensive ones, but I love that car. All right, so there's that one. And then, lastly, all we got is green light. So first, let's take, I'll take a quick peek at this just to show you it. Even though I'm not going to remove it from the packaging, it does at first glance kind of look like it's a raw green machine, but it is not. So they got a green machine bar in the back, and then uh, there's the base. You're not gonna be able to see the number through this plastic, but um, what did I say it was in the first half of the video? I can probably actually see it better now in this lighting. It's number 18, and it's all right. I mean, it looks okay with green rims and stuff like that, but it's just not something I'm gonna keep or collect, so that will get passed on eventually. And then I carefully removed this bad boy and yeah this thing looks really cool man <laughs> just really cool so cool it's a shame I don't collect the scale because I would definitely keep this if I did I just think it looks really awesome with that green accent in place of where the red would be and um, it's done up pretty well. I don't really see too many issues with it. Even the, like the little GMC logo on the front is Green Machine Green, which is pretty awesome. Um, the base is just standard black. It's got a standard number on it, 3212, which usually for uh, green machines that have like body and not base paint green, are usually the numbers are all over the place. But it seems like the ones that actually have green bases, those are when you find low number green machines. So the doors open on this one, gives you a peek inside the interior there, shut pretty nice, and then this other side. Greenlight definitely does some pretty cool um, 124 scale vehicles. I got to think that this isn't truly 124 scale though. It seems small for 124 scale. Especially when you see like M2 124 scale stuff seems a lot bigger than this stuff does. But who knows if M2 is like quite correct to scale. But this looks, I don't know. It says it's 124 scale, but I think it's smaller than 124 scale. I'm not going to like get a, a, you know, I'm not going to measure it and compare it to the real vehicle to tell you the truth. But uh, I don't know. It seems like it's just smaller than 124 scale. Someone probably knows if it truly is or isn't. Um, but this thing looks awesome, and it's something that, you know, I debated on. I still am debating kind of on keeping it because it's really, really cool. 
but I'll probably just kind of wipe it clean in my fingerprints and place it back into the packaging because the packaging, like I said in the first front half of the video here, the packaging for these is not sealed, it's not taped shut. So you really can um, just open these up, carefully take the vehicle out without disturbing anything, and then carefully put it back in the packaging, and it's just as good as being sealed, except for the fact that I guess I handle it. Um, but that shouldn't be a big deal. So there it is. I gotta say it looks just awesome. I think this looks fantastic. I I would like to get, I know, I'm trying to think of what the green machine of this A-Team van looks like in 164 scale and how the combo combination of where the green is and all that stuff. And I think they make one just like this. And I think that might be one I actually try to get just because it looks really cool. Um, so like I said, I don't collect chases just for chase sake, although I do pick them, I don't leave them behind in the store at the same time, although I did debate on leaving this one, but that 40% off Hobby Lobby coupon kind of helped me go ahead and just pick this up, um, but I don't know. I gotta say, some of the green machines, when they do like stuff like this and this, like where they replace the red with the green, it looks really cool. It, it that that looks really cool, and that's something that's worth uh, worth collecting and displaying to me. All right, so uh, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I guess we kind of made it long enough um, as usual, but uh, so I think my favorite car that I received this week is probably this Johnny Lightning Trans Am right here. Um, it's just a really nice looking Trans Am. And then uh, maybe second would be this one right here. That's that's a really nice looking car too. Love it. All right. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you guys very, very much for watching another, yet another weekly video. Um, I really appreciate all the support for my channel, all your comments, um, the likes, subscribes, all that fun stuff. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. And you all have a great week.